The interesting thing about the Rowing Cross English Channel was nobody believed that you could do it in a fine river boat. This was in tiny little, you know, 14 kilo rowing boat. And everybody said you couldn't do it. And people said, as you got to the big, huge waves where the oil tankers gone through, the boat will break in half. Okay, so I was really excited when I got to a really big wave off an oil tanker, because this was the moment when the boat was going to break in half, or not. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so much fun. I went up, it's like a roller coaster. I went up and then I came down and then the boat was fine. Didn't get a drop of water in the boat. The boat was brilliant. And so after I'd done that in the middle of the channel, I knew I was going to make it across. The next big thing, of course, was how long was it going to take? Okay, so I was busy rowing away like crazy. I couldn't see it. It was a really hot day. It was a really hot September day. And I arrived and I got closer and closer. And I'm thinking, how big are the waves when I come into the beach? And so I'm worried about the waves. Well, the waves are little, they're only about this big. And so here I go, I've broken a world record coming into the beach in France. And you can imagine the crowds, you know, the Olympics and all the TV, well, there's nothing. Nobody on this beach, there wasn't even a seagirl on this beach, other than one man fishing. And he looked at me and he carried on fishing. <laughs> that was when I broke my world record.